Today I'm going to be trying a new LiPo that I got on my 7-inch Chimera Pro V2 and I'm really excited about this because my only battery that I have for this drone is a lithium-ion battery and I wasn't a big fan of it even though we got like 20 minutes of flight time. It is good for cruising around or doing mountain dives and stuff like that but I want to use a Chimera more, get more comfortable with it so I think putting on a LiPo here and having it fly more like my other drones and having that punch and power from the LiPo battery is really going to help me enjoy this drone a lot more and use it more. These are the 3000 milliamp per hour lithium-ion batteries from GN3. We tried them on the V D5 and they work pretty good so now I'm excited to see what we got on this drone here already getting bug bites I packed bug spray in my bag and I forgot to bring my bag I brought my case today so of course don't have bug spray out here so hopefully we can get a couple good flights in and test these batteries out without getting destroyed too much but this here is my 8,000 milliamp per hour full send uh, battery from iFlight and then this here is a 3,000 milliamp per hour uh, lipo battery it's a lot smaller I was hoping to get like a 4,500 it's kind of hard to find those batteries unless you're going through like an actual battery website and paying a lot of money for shipping and the battery in general after my long range flight video with the Chimera the last time we flew it a lot of people were telling me to bump up my packet rate to one watt so that's what I did I'm pretty sure I set it up right I took off the dynamic and just put the max rate up to one watt so this is what we got today to test out. Let's plug it in, take it up, and see how it works with the Chimera today. So here we go, our first flight with the new battery. We'll just kind of take it slow for a bit here and see how everything works. Definitely still have a little bit of like drifting. But it seems to be like flipping and stuff much faster. Yeah, we can do some flips and rolls with it. Yeah, we can get pretty precise with it too. It feels good, like, it definitely feels better than the lithium-ion battery. Everything kind of feels, like, slow and delayed a little bit with that pack. But these ones are crushing it here. And we also have, like, the full weight on it with the GoPro, too. Um, so we'll see kind of how long we get. I'm not expecting too long of a flight. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, too, I'm not recording the OSD for this one here. Can I do it? Do I got a thing in there? I don't know, I just clicked record on it. I'm not sure if it's goggles and OSD. I'm sure you'll find out in a second if I pop the OSD up or not, but next flight, I'll make sure to put that in there. So we're still just cruising around here. Battery seems to be draining like pretty, fa pretty fast here. We'll kind of go down under here. Do some punch-ups and stuff. Yeah, I find like on the turns there, I'm not sure if it's the rates or the actual quad itself, but it seems to like really like keep going, like really drifting a lot when I'm turning it still. Because I think I have a more expo on this drone than any other drone and I'm kind of like still testing it out and seeing you know what works best for me and what I like. And I don't think I like this much expo on it. I'm not seeing any sign of controller signal interruption with the new uh, pocket rates we got on today. Just cruising along here. We're at 3.7 volts and it's only been three and a half minutes. Which kind of sucks, but. I think I'd really like like a 4,500 milliamp per hour battery on this quad. If I can ever find one for myself at a good price, definitely be picking one of those up but still going along here, 3.65 volts at four minutes.
It's also over here. Kind of just heading out this way now. And just the goggle interruption here sucks. I don't know why my goggles are breaking up. If we do like this drone though, I am open to putting the O4 unit on it. You can get like a kit and put the O4 unit on it. Bug on my leg there, back to flying. Because you want your long range drone to get you as far as possible, right? So if that means putting the O4 on it, then we will do it. I've also been wanting to get the Goggles 3, but I'm just scared that the Goggles 4 is gonna come out soon. So I might hold off on that. Yeah, signal breakup right there. Like that should not be happening with uh, the long range. Because if the Goggles 4 come out and they're better around the same price point, then I'd rather pick those up. But if they're not, then the Goggles 3 will go on sale and I'd save some money there too. It's like every time there, we're just getting signal break up. I can't believe the bug spray too, like that's so annoying. I had it in my uh, bag and I brought my case today, not the bag. So it's been six minutes, cruising along here. We're at 3.6 volts, starting to get down to the, towards the end. They really just took down all of this bush here. A couple flights ago we were flying here and it was really cool because it was so like overgrown and stuff and now everything's just completely gone. We've still got some battery left. Starting to get to the end though. I think just dipping below 3.6 volts here. Seven minutes almost, that's pretty good. I'd say like we get seven minutes out of uh, the battery pack here. We still got a little bit more, but I might as well bring it in for a landing now. Where are we? Let's see if I can try to land it on my case. Scary bringing this big drone in right beside my legs here, but should be fine. Oh. Perfect on the case. And look at all that junk we're shooting up there. Grass and, but honestly, really good flight there. Uh, seven minutes of flying with the GoPro on it too. Forgot about the GoPro on there. So that's good actually, because I'm gonna be flying this drone a lot with the GoPro on, obviously to get the best footage compared to the O3 there. So let's plug in another battery pack, take it up, just fly some more and see what, uh, see what other times we got. Okay, so it was looking like I did record the OSD on the last flight there. And we are recording again here. So that's good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just kind of fly around in this pack here, have some fun with it. Once I get this bug off my leg. So yeah, it's definitely starting to feel more like a regular FPV drone that I'm comfortable flying. Um, but again, like I was saying earlier, I think the Expo is a little bit too much on it. But we'll still have to fly around for a bit, maybe a couple more battery packs before I change anything, really. Yeah, like I would not be flying like this with a lithium ion battery, I'll tell you that. Try to get nice and low here. 
The goggles love breaking up over here though, so. Get low on the way back. Oh, and I lost telemetry on my radio. Yeah, I've definitely got to have something set up wrong. So I should not be losing telemetry when I'm like less than 500 meters away from myself here. So a little bit more tweaking on that, learning about the drone and the GPS, and this is a 9.15 ELRS and not 2.4. Probably should have just got 2.4 now that I think about it. Like, it's not worth having this pocket, especially for losing signal and stuff already with it. Whoa, that was dangerous, but with the light bulb, we can just kind of pop out there and not get stuck in the tree. Cruising along here. Head over top of these trees a bit, nice. Losing goggle signal there. I would love to sit in the exact same spot, put the 04 unit up and like really test it out. Cause it seems like strange, but also I'm sitting underneath this tree all the way over here. And we're going all the way that way. So maybe it's just like all the trees blocking it, but I feel like the 04 wouldn't cut out for some reason. Yeah, like cutting out there. Come back through this way. That'll be another test I'll do. I'll bring a 04 drone. I don't have one with me today, I don't think. No, yeah, I don't only have this one today. Bring the Vapor D5 out and see the difference between the two video systems. But yeah, we're still flying good here. 3.6 volts, starting to get a little bit low at four and a half minutes. Cruising along. Then after that video test, we can do like a test between the two batteries, which might be dangerous a little bit if I get used to like the LiPo batteries and then switch over to a lithium ion battery, I might, I might get in trouble, stuck somewhere or hit something. Starting to get a little bit low on battery now. Just saw it go underneath uh, six volts, 5.8 there. Or 3.6 volts, I mean. Got a lot of GPS signals though, heading up to 27. That's good. And then also a lot of people were saying the GPS is installed upside down or something on the quad, but it's a bind and fly, so that's how they installed it. I don't think they would install it upside down. I also am very aware of how big this drone is. So like going through like spots like this, it's a little bit scary, but. I'm 
All right, we're at six and a half minutes, and then I just saw a low power flash, and so we're gonna bring it in for another landing here. Ah, oh, bugs, man. Good thing it's the last battery pack here. Right on my neck. I don't know if I can land it on this. Yeah, I can't. Bug right on my neck. But we got it back, everything's safe. We actually got surprisingly long flight times. I was expecting like five minutes with the GoPro weight, the big drone here, but seven and a half minutes, I'm happy with that. That'll get us some good long range flights for sure, especially with how fast this drone moves. I don't know if I'm gonna be full throttling it, how, how much I'll kill that battery, but knowing that we have seven and a half minutes out of this battery pack, just kind of cruising around and stuff, it's good to know. And we also have the bigger battery pack too, if we really want to do like an extreme long range flight and get like 20 plus minutes out of it. I'm happy with that. We still got a couple more tests to do. I don't know what's going on with that controller still. Like we lost telemetry when we we're out there. The goggle situation, I want to compare the O3 to the O4 and see if it's worth upgrading this drone to an O4, taking the O3 out of it, maybe putting it into like a five inch bando basher or something like that. And then was there something else I wanted to test out too? Oh yeah, just testing out the difference between the LiPo battery and the lithium ion battery battery kind of have like a side-by-side -side comparison with those and have like one flight with them both but all in all i'm pretty happy with the way the drone performed today if you like today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in tomorrow's video